Cada um vai ter diferente. Today, we're going to talk about making character profile that doesn't suck us. I will show you the character, and then we will talk about why it's good to make character like this one. I'm not saying you need to exclusively make this specific type of character. I'm just saying this character get you through the game. So, six perception is all you need. Uh, endurance, you wanna have high endurance to endure hits. I personally love 10 endurance. However, 10 endurance is extremely non-practical, so it's very hard to recommend it. Uh, six endurance is enough to in, make you into some interactions that require some endurance. And it's also a note to endure early game without having a problem regardless if you uh, build this on arms or small guns. As for weapon used, I would recommend you to not use any weapon. I mean, uh, I would recommend to literally avoid fights only unless you win or you join fight between two, speci two specific groups. As for uh, gender, I would say Depends which one makes you more comfortable to play. It's not a big deal. You can also go good nature. It will make you stuck at combat even harder. But uh, for, uh, at the benefit of making you better in uh, very practical skills. There is also fast shot if you don't mind aiming. But would want to pew pew faster. It's very fun. There is also finesse. Well, finesse is quite interesting because it increases armor of all enemies. However, if you crit, armor doesn't count, so it can have no downside. Of course, a very safe choice is small frame. It doesn't work as you see, 11 doesn't work. Wait, I, I wanna see something. Just because 11 doesn't work. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> we'll be sick. Yeah, small frame is also a safe choice. As for where you wanna have points, perception allow you to aim at distance, intelligence allow you to get better at skills easier. But yeah, it's all safe choices uh, mostly. Just take something that appeals to you. Name doesn't matter, everything else doesn't matter. You can disarm trap without any skill. Uh, uh, there is a lot you can do without skills. <laughs> Character like this one will get you through the game without a problem. Actually... Eh, I never liked small frame. It's mostly... Uh, it's giant downside is uh, carry capacity. Uh, it can be offset by having companions and wanting to micromanage inventory. It's terrible uh, down downside because it requires you to play less and just you know handle inventory better. It's technically neg negligible because you can get car that have trunk that can carry a lot. You can get companions who can carry a lot. But you still have to fucking go through the stupid inventory windows all the fucking time uh, just to manage your inventory faster and better, so I would kind of... If you wanna have fun, I would recommend not taking it. It's still fun, some people would say, oh, it's fun, it's just, uh, so it's just fucking personal. Oh, you can have fun with this and that. And it's, uh, it's perfectly true. But I don't give a shit, it, it's not fun to me. Actually, the 9 agility is also perfectly fine. If you are willing to, at level 12, use gain agility. 
It's a perk that let you get ten agility. Uh, a gain agility is probably only good uh, good gain perk that is objectively good. Because you really want to have ten action points. I mean, nine is perfectly fine. A lot of good players can play with a fucking six. But yeah, agility is so important in this game. Giant problem with the game is that it doesn't give you flat action points and bonus action points. Uh, all action points are from agility. So you either have action points and can do something, or don't have action points and can do something. As for traits, why I took Jinxed here? Jinxed allow you to basically uh, not be able to fight uh, and still win. Enemies can literally die around you. Enemies can kill each other, they can lose their weapon constantly. You can just fucking take it. Uh, it's perfectly fine to make character like this uh, or any other. I personally love Jinx, I have my personal bias. Uh, there, there is nothing wrong with having things you like. <laughs> For me that Jinx. Uh, it makes the game very completely funny because everyone everywhere completely fails. It's slightly dangerous. But it's fine. And I would say you would be sad with something like this. If you don't like Jinx set naturally fast shot, that's good. Some people might say but I wanna have fucking aim shot, fine. Here. Some people might say that uh, he don't know about this damage things and take small frame. But yeah. As I said, small frame make game is a little bit boring. You can also take one hander. It's very good skill, uh, very good trade because it gives you rough 20% bonus skill to all one hander weapon and probably 20% penalty to all two handed weapons. Uh, how can you tell if your weapon is one handed or two handed? Honestly, I don't know. I think spears are one handed, which is quite weird. And that's all you need to know, honestly. Like the swords are like uh, one one handed, uh, like this katana from this katana guys. Yes, you can have katana in this game. If you don't know what to take, you can always just go with something like bloody mess. If you wanna see a lot of unique animations well unique you will see them in normal game regardless it's just something I would not recommend taking this 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 uh, some people like it so yeah some people are like oh score of sequence is so good you see because with sequence you can move once per turn and with whole sequence you can also move once per turn. It's so fucking useful because you can you can run first instead of running se second. You know what the difference is that? Yeah, in Enclave Patrol, if you run second, uh, you die. If you run first, you can leave. Uh, that, that's the difference in practice. Everything else is no difference. This is exclusively for one encounter and it's useless. Wait, it gives you sequence, right? Yeah, it gives you sequence, of course. It would be funny if I would really forget. Oh, heavy hand is terrible. A heavy hand reduce your critical table by 30%. You need better criticals to offset it, and I would say after that it's rather even. A lot of people bitch and complain that it's not even and you are still weak. I would say, don't care, take jinxed. 
Yeah. If I wanna have Jinx, I would rather play as female. Because it's more fun. And this character will get through the game easily. Have a good day.